One man tossed into the world of old school RuneScape. He will have to battle through some of RuneScape's toughest grinds in his pursuit to become a max level 3 skiller. All of this without gaining any combat experience. But who? Who will take on such a fearsome challenge? I present to you, Dazer Ikai! Hey look, it's Dazer Hi. They call him the level 3 Zezima of RuneScape. How's about I get an autograph, buddy? How's about no? <laughs> Damn, that guy's a dick. The Kingdom of Rock. Hey, Bob. I'm headed to the mining guild to get expert mining gloves. Do you know how to get there? The mining guild? Are you sure? Let me tell you the journey to the mining guild. It's not for the faint of heart. Or for those who are afraid of the dark. Or spiders or ghosts. Ghost? Spiders? Are you serious? Oh, I'm just kidding. The journey is pretty easy. Just buy a skills necklace and you're all set. That sounds great, thanks. Expert Mining Gloves. When mining rocks, it gives a chance that the rock will not be defeated. Alright, I'm all suited up. Mining Guild, here we come! Alright, so if you guys are still here, do me a favor and smash that like button. It helps me out a ton by pushing my content to other people. And this is a part of my maxing my level 3 series. So if you're interested in my other episodes, 1 to 18 are in my playlist section. Alright, back to the grind. Whoo! Guys, we did it. Holy cow. That took way longer than I expected. Way longer. <laughs> I think I spent about 15 hours doing this grind just to get the requirements for the expert mining gloves. I've also mined over 19,000 iron ores. Like, that's unreal. Like, how much is this even worth? These are worth almost 3 million GP. I don't know if I should sell this or collect this or what. I don't know. Let me, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so this is the first time I'm ever redeeming the expert mining gloves. I believe I talked to Bellona. Um, this goes anywhere else. Hmm. Let's see. Here it is. Can you combine my mining gloves? I have all the requirements. And there we have it. Let's fucking go. Holy shit. Expert mining gloves, dude. Holy crap. That's sick. Let's put these babies on, dude. Dude. We finally have the expert mining gloves. Unreal. That took me like so long. Crazy. I have like absolutely maxed mining gear. The only thing I'm missing is the mining ring. But, um... I'm going to have to do shooting star. I, I've never done that before, so I might have to watch a guide. Um, that could be in later videos, so yeah. So the way I'm able to work on my buyable skills is straight up LMS. Gladiator style, baby. I use the reward points from LMS to obtain prizes and sell that to the Grand Exchange. Check this out. I have 17 ornate maw handles, and this is all from LMS. Let's see how much we can get. Let's head to the exchange. Throw this inside. Collect. What do we get? 13 mil. Let's go. So to get to level 90 crafting this episode, I chose to do sapphires because it seemed to be a little bit quicker than blowpiping. It cost more money, but... I just can't stand the long grinds. I'll still do blowpiping because it's more efficient money-wise, but for right now, I think we're going to do sapphires. Quick update, guys. We are doing diamonds because it's two times faster than sapphire, and it actually only costs 200k more. 
So yeah, we're gonna be doing this instead. The time is now. Level 90 crafting, let's go! Fuck yeah! Yes! That's fucking sick, boy. Oh shit, I don't have the 200 coins. Damn it. So one of the things that I have not unlocked yet is the last room in the farming guild. So as you can see, if I enter this room, it literally just pushes me out. So one of the goals that I have to accomplish, I don't know if I'll be able to do it in this video, is going to be 85 farming. We're not too far off, but by the time I finish this video, we'll see if I can get there. You know what's crazy? I've been farming for quite a while now, and just recently I found out you can note your harvest with the gnome. All this time I've been harvesting and running to the bank. That's crazy. Like, check this out. You just use your harvest onto him. And he turns it into noted snape grass. Dude. That's insane. Ah, the art of herb lore. A skill that I absolutely love. Mixing potions for the motions. Until we reach peak performance. Alright fam, so we're going to end the video here. These are my ending stats. We got 16 Herbler levels, 10 Crafting levels, 1 Slayer level, 6 Mining levels, and 2 Farming levels. Alright fam, so if you enjoyed the content, please leave me a like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other videos. Peace.